What's going on, you guys? Thanks for stopping back to the channel today. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a controller settings video for Battlefield 2042. Um, maybe you're one of those people like me who has jumped back into this game um, because it has really become quite a bit more fun than it was at launch. I It was so bad at launch, and I'm obviously not alone here. I quit playing it completely. I just got rid of it, um, deleted it from my hard drive on both my PS5 and my PC, and... Uh, about a month ago came back to it and I've been having quite a bit of fun with it but one of the things I wanted to get going is if I'm gonna play this on PS5 ever with anyone um, one of the things that was a huge issue was that the controller felt like absolute dog shit uh, when this first dropped um, aim assist did not work at all and because in order to really get the full experience of this game you have to play it on crossplay uh, aim assist is something you're gonna to have to just you know make a concession for and start using but it didn't work so that was a huge problem so what we're gonna do today um, now that you know aim assist it does work actually um, I can definitely confirm that for you if you haven't played this in a while it works perfectly well which is outstanding so we're gonna go through some controller settings for you and uh, I think this will be if you use these first of all let me know in the comments below let me know what you think about them and um, you know this feels the most like maybe Battlefield 5 as far as um, just the the smoothness the speed it's still a, there's still some little jerkiness to it but it feels a, a, just a million times better so i hope that you find this uh, helpful and uh, if you do please drop a like and maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, if you subscribe hit that bell notification so you get more in, uh, information on uh, new videos coming out in the near future so let's get right to it uh, soldier aim sensitivity is going to be something that is uh ultimately dependent upon the person playing however in order to you know have a chance against people i wouldn't lower this any any farther than 35 um and i think the sweet spot probably is somewhere between 40 and 60. um i, I feel like even though i have it set at 40 right now i think 45 to 50 is probably where i'm going to end up playing with it uh field of view i used to play this all the way up uh but the problem is is i also play with ads field of view on and in this game it becomes very very difficult to see what you're looking at when you aim down sights um, when you have this field of view this high so with that in mind i i lowered it down to 95 now you could maybe go as low as 90 uh, or as high as 100 but i think 90 to 100 is about again your sweet spot here for field of view anything lower and you're going to miss things around you and you're going to be taken advantage of because people um just off to your left or right are going to be shooting you then you're not going to have a clue that they were there ever now this is the this is the fun part here huh aim assist i turned this down just slightly uh, to 90 instead of 100 and the reason is because uh, when you try to track longer distance targets or let's say somebody floating down in a parachute you know what aim assist does is it's supposed to slow you slow your aim down as you get close to the target the problem is is when something is far away or if it's on a parachute um, it's moving quite a bit faster relative to where you're at so this being lower allows you to keep your uh, crosshair on your target uh, quite a bit better than when it is when it's at a hundred uh, because when it's at a hundred trying to track those long distance targets um, it seems that the game is slowing down your aim as you start getting close to the uh, to the target and that makes it uh, much harder to either lead uh, usually to lead a target that is that far away uh, aim is to snap zoom leave it at 100 uh, you're gonna want to use this and you're gonna be happy you did because it works very well um, now I was always an advocate for playing with both of these set at 50 um, at most uh, when I would play previous Battlefield games but begin because this is crossplay you just you need this you absolutely need to have it and you'll be happy you do now all this stuff here this is all preference based um, until we get down to soldier zoom aim sensitivity now i lowered this down to 95 um i had it as low as 85 but i felt like that was just a little too slow somewhere in between 85 and 95 is probably gonna be where you want it but this is just gonna allow you to have a smoother experience once you're aiming down sights and tracking targets you know there's a lot of fast movement in this game uh, from infantry players um, and while you might think you want to be able to aim faster because of it it's not exactly the case you want to be able to kind of hover where you're at or move slower moves more slowly uh, with your ADS uh, when trying to track a specifically a closer target um, this is gonna make that much easier for you again we get down here this is all gonna be again preference based uh, aim acceleration uh, left right uh, 
we're going to turn this down to zero. I tinkered with this going up or down a little bit, but ultimately I think zero is the best place, and it usually always is, um, and I think this is no different. Uh, the vertical aim ratio, I lowered down to 80.5. I think it was up uh, equal with the vertical zoom aim, or uh, maybe even higher than that originally. Um, when you make quick turns, uh, you'll find yourself looking up or down a little bit. Uh, lowering this down to somewhere between 81 and 79, I would say, is going to give you an opportunity to make quick turns uh, 180 degrees, but without ending up looking uh, three or four feet up or down by the time that turn is over. Uh, uniform soldier aiming, uh, we're going to keep that. We keep it on, and we turn the coefficient down slightly to 120, uh, making it uh, just a little bit slower when you're aiming with higher uh you know, uh, higher zoomed optics. So the more you get up uh, three, four, five times, six times, uh, and so on, um, it won't feel like you're going way too fast aiming with those. We leave all these at 100. Um, and then we're going to go over to controller tuning. Uh, the left stick really doesn't matter a whole time because you're just moving with it. But I would still keep this. Uh, I'm going to harp on this anytime I've ever done a, a controller settings video. Uh, dead zone, always as low as you can get it. Uh, comfortably without any stick drift being a problem. Now, <clears throat> with that said, in first-person shooters, the left stick um, is used for movement, so you don't need it to be quite as responsive as you need the right stick to be, but there's no reason not to lower this down as far as you can, uh, again, comfortably. Here, I have a brand new PS5 controller, and I can usually get it down to four, but I think four and a half is probably fine. If you can't get it that low, don't feel like there's a problem that's pretty normal especially if you don't have a brand new controller um, but somewhere between five and eight is going to be where you want to be if you can get lower get lower believe me it's going to make everything you do just that much more responsive so that's it that's what i got for you guys today again let me know if this video was helpful for you if you've been playing battlefield 2042 i think you might be like me here i don't i i think i'm going to be playing this game on with a uh, with a controller for the foreseeable future um, because it just feels so much better right now um, I'm having some uh, the snap zoom is really it's almost like a superpower I feel like so give it a try let me know what you think um, and uh, thank you for stopping by uh, the channel have yourself a great week and we will see you later on